Hi, Jens. Hi, Sidi. Hey, um, well, I'm very pleased to have you here today. And of course, I'm even more pleased due to the fact that you have successfully finished our coaching program. And um, you will join McKinsey Orphus, which is uh, the unit within McKinsey, which is focusing on operational and cultural transformation of large client organizations. So congratulations. Congratulations for this. Thanks, Lord City. That's, uh, that's really correct and a uh, pleasure to be here. <laughs> so, well, uh, we're going to talk a bit about um, your preparation journey, right, and how it was for you. Um, so maybe let's start with you reflecting back a bit on where you were when we started working together, right, in the coaching program mm -hmm. and the development path that you took during the preparation. So if you think about this, what are your thoughts? What were the most significant changes that have fueled your success? Are there any aspects that you would really single out as particularly helpful? Yeah, um, I think I definitely have come a very long way since starting the program. Because um, entering the program with a, an industry background, I was really looking to improve on some of the typical consulting skills, such as uh, top-down communication and being yeah. more concise and, and more precise in my verbalizations. Mm -hmm. um, however, I think to me, there were two specific points that were taught within the program, mm -hmm. which I was personally always repeating in the back of my mind, which also mm -hmm. made me a better case solver. Mm -hmm. um, the first point I would say is really taking the time before um, answering any questions, eh, allowing you to come up with a, a structured answer. Yeah. And the second point is to really treat the, the interviewer as someone who aims to solve a problem together with you. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And to me, that really means being vocal about your thought process. Mm -hmm. um, also to be transparent when you have doubts or when you feel stuck. Yeah. So my key takeaway is really uh, do not be afraid to ask the interviewer any questions or yeah. to reach out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 super important, right? And uh, I mean, uh, and I, I remember we talked quite a lot about this, right? That these these interviews should not be seen as sort of a oral exam or a big test or something where you are supposed to know everything and then to just shoot out uh, uh, your the wealth of your knowledge. But it is a conversation, right? And the only reason why you even do this case or these cases is because this is the best method for the interviewers to understand how are you thinking right and how are you approaching towards something uh, that could be a sensible recommendation for a client problem right? exactly exactly that's fully correct yeah. <laughs> so now the goal of our preparation was uh, obviously to get you offer ready right um so but um what you have then learned and internalized during the program is in fact very very different from uh, what is written in the mainstream case books which are available on the market right mm -hmm. um so what we have established is a very very robust methodical grounding on which you can then build a much much stronger and more rigorous case solving muscle so if you think about this what would you say how has this more mature way to approach problems and cases and the independence from the frameworks that many people are trying to learn ahead of their uh, interview preparation so how has this freedom helped you to be successful in your interviews yeah well, that's a good question cd um i think rather than than learning frameworks by heart you, you're really developing a new logical way of approaching strategic problems mm -hmm. so once this has been internalized, it becomes extremely comfortable to deal with any strategic problem that they um, are throwing at you in an interview. Yeah. So, and to me, another advantage of this uh, logical approach is that you always feel in full control during the interviews. Mm. So it really allows you to um, easily navigate through the case to be quick on your feet when being asked some uh, follow-up questions. And... To me, that feeling of control is really important mm. to feel confident um, and to reduce the stress, which is naturally always a bit there when entering an interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is a really important point, right? And um, I mean, as you might imagine, this is something that probably 80, 90 percent of, of candidates are struggling with, right? This this feeling of, you know, uncertainty. Oh, what mm -hmm. question will they ask me, right? Is it something that I have seen before in some way so I can somehow relate to some case that I practiced before, right? So this this feeling of being dependent of having seen something similar before, right? And one of the major goals in our program uh, program is indeed to yeah 
to to eradicate this dependence on having of having seen it before right so that you have this confidence it does not matter whether the interviewer is asking me about i don't know the next mars mission or uh, about a chocolate producer or whatever right uh, because i know i have learned the capabilities to then logically cut through the aspects of this very program uh, problem, right? And this is usually what uh, provides you with the calmness that you need in order to then actually discuss the, pr uh, the problem instead of just, you know, panicking inside of your head and trying to somehow remember all the things from a specific framework, right? Exactly, exactly. It's really, um, yeah, you can handle any open-ended question that I throw at you at the start, but also mm -hmm. throughout the interview, you will always have something to fall back on. You always have your logic, your yeah. logic that you can actually um, make use of. So you will never feel lost. You will always feel in in control. Yes, yes, very good. So now one point you already mentioned this a couple of minutes ago, right? Uh, which we are very adamant about during the coaching is uh, precision in language, right? And uh, this can sometimes be pretty painful, right? During um, uh, the program, during the coaching sessions for our candidates, uh, because I mean, sometimes, and I think you also experience this, uh, candidates are getting really stopped uh, by, um, yeah, by us during the coaching sessions, uh, every couple of sentences, right? To even repeat these sentences in a more precise version and then uh, we as mentors sometimes are really hitting the red buzzer on just one single word that is maybe too wishy-washy right so and uh, i know this was challenging at times right but now in hindsight right how do you see this element of the coaching yeah 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 i, I think this direct feedback is really one of the most valuable aspects of the program mm -hmm. and as you as you're explaining it is very confronting and uh, pretty painful but that's exactly when you know that you are developing, right? Yeah. Um, and funny enough, th those sessions for me were really the moments that boosted my motivation, made me look forward to taking the next steps. Yeah. And and the key reason for that is that this feedback is so concrete, so specific, you can immediately start incorporating that into your next case practice sessions. Mm -hmm. And that really gives you a feeling of growth as you will be a better communicator straight away. Yeah. So... Actually, yeah. So to anyone feeling incompetent after such a session, mm -hmm. um, I would strongly recommend to just embrace that feeling, mm -hmm. enjoy the change that is happening within, and realize yeah. that it's much better to have this feeling occur in a practice session than in a real-life interview. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this last uh, point that you're mentioning, right, embracing uh, this feeling, this is super important, right? And uh, this is actually um, a major success factor for mentees because. This is what you call coachability, right? Um, not being offended <laughs> when getting feedback that is maybe very straight, very blunt, right? Um, uh, but instead, really trying to embrace this and trying to work on this and trying next time, okay, if I really focus on this, is this something where I am able to progress, right? And the answer there is almost always yes, because these are not some magic things that we are asking you to do, right? These are just uh, pretty, you know, um, pretty clear steps that you usually have to take. But of course, as with every habit in life, it usually takes a couple of iterations and practicing to really, you know, make it make it second nature. Right? This yeah, is yeah. This exactly. Part. Fully agree. And I think it's only when you adopt this mindset of growth that uh, you will get the most value out of the program. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool. So now, um, in summary, right, um, what would you say, what would you recommend to a candidate who is just now starting with his interview preparations, right, and um, who is maybe overwhelmed and confused by all the available resources and books and uh, websites and YouTube videos that you find out there? So any uh, precious tips that you could share? Yeah, I will I will make that very short. My tip is to throw out all of the existing resources and, <laughs> and just start the program, right? Because this is not only valuable to really stand out in MBB interviews, but it will also allow you to develop skills that are applicable in any professional context. So we just say, uh, go for it. 
<laughs> so you all heard it, right? Go on the website, <laughs> fill the form, right? And then hopefully we'll talk very soon. No, uh, thank you, Jens. This was this was amazing, right? And uh, uh, congratulations again, right? Um, uh, I think um, it's um, it's an amazing uh, place to be in, right? And um, of course, um, your path, what you just say uh, said, right? Embracing the learning, right? Uh, embracing the learning curve in which you are. I mean, this is something that will now, of course, uh, continue for you because this is the very nature of the profession as a top level uh, consultant but um i think uh, you are in a very very uh, good spot here and uh, yeah i'm sure you will you will thrive <laughs> super thanks a lot city uh, and uh, thanks a lot for the support throughout the way it was a very exciting journey and as you say this is just the beginning so very curious about the next steps <laughs> all right cool cheers bye super see you city bye, -bye.